Howdy pregnancy partners, welcome to my 37 week update. I'm gonna jump straight into it and do the whole Wednesday to Wednesday type thing again like I did last time. So my first day of my 37th week, I woke up and I was really sick, I had a stuffy nose, um, I had a really bad cough, I was blowing out green mucusy stuff, it was just really horrible basically. Um, I had lower back pain and I had vivid dreams that night. Thursday I was really really sick still. Um, I had lower back pain as well and then in the afternoon I had Braxton Hicks contractions for like three hours that were like seven to fifteen minutes apart but when I went to go to bed they actually went away and everything was fine. Friday I had a really good sleep the night before. Um, I was having a few relationship troubles but they all got sort of worked out and it's just something that you go through especially especially this far along in your pregnancy I think your hormones are all over the place plus it's our first baby we don't really know what we're doing we don't really know how we're meant to be feeling and yeah like our emotions are just all over the place I was feeling very anxious and impatient and wanting to do a lot of housework but being sick was stopping me from doing that so that was frustrating for me on Saturday we actually did a lot of housework Reese helped me um, clean the house out cleaned my fish tank, I cleaned my bedroom, I mean, you know, we just did last minute things that um, otherwise I'd have to do when the baby comes. So like the fish tank is like a job that I do every two or three weeks and the baby's going to be here at that time. So I was like, okay, I've got to do that. So when the baby is here, I won't have to do that. Nothing really happened on Sunday. We did have a 43 degree day. Um, and if you're not from Australia, that's a really fucking hot day. Um, that's... The hot, one of the hottest days that I've ever seen in my entire life um, in Australia where I live so yeah it was a really really hot day luckily we have air conditioning in our house but I actually had a christening on that day um, so we're in a church with only fans and it was like we were all sweltering it was not good but we um, went back afterwards and had lunch in the air conditioning and I had a really big appetite which I noticed I had like two main lunches and two big desserts um, and I was feeling full as a house. Monday was an interesting day. I had my midwife appointment and we actually had a male doctor this time and he outlined um, my cesarean sort of plan um, and he went through the risks and one, like how a cesarean actually plays out, what's going on, what I'm gonna be doing, um, you know, and I had to sign some consent forms and yeah, I felt really looked after on Monday, which was good. After we spoke all about my cesarean, I told him that I'd sort of been having a bit of swelling in my feet and having headaches and I was a bit worried about preeclampsia, but my blood pressure was completely normal. And so that wasn't a worry, it's just pregnancy symptoms. Um, I also got hooked up to a CTG monitor um, for probably 20 minutes just to check I wasn't having any contractions and to monitor the baby's heart and he was all good. After I got hooked up to the CTG monitor and everything was good, he said, I booked you in with the, with the anesthesiologist um, who may be doing your spinal at 1 p.m. So we went up to the, um, had an appointment with her and she basically ran through the spinal, um, how long I'd be numb for, where I'm meant to be numb, what's wrong, like should my hands be numb, um, am I gonna be able to breastfeed, skin on skin, and we went through all that stuff and I felt really, really good about that. So we went home and I was back at the hospital that night with contractions that were like period menstrual like cramps that went on for hours and they were very very painful um which i'd never had really before it wasn't so much tightening so i wasn't sure if they were contractions but turns out they weren't actually contractions and it was probably around ligament pain um and it's hard when you've just never had it before you don't know what to expect when you hear around ligament pain you don't expect that it's actually that painful but yeah so that's probably what it was she said um my urine was fine and yeah, the monitor was showing that I wasn't having contractions. Went home, took Panadol after she recommended it. And then yeah, I was fine. Tuesday, um, I went shopping and I was feeling really good. After walking around for a bit though, I got really bad lower back pain again. Um, and I had a really bad headache come over me. And that night I actually, the headache was so bad on my left side and my left jaw and everything. Um, and I took Panadol, it didn't work. And I did a quick Google search that it might be a sinus headache. Um, I took a Polaramine tablet anyway just to be sure and it went away after that but it really did not feel like a sinus headache because when I get sinus headaches it's like up in here and this was just like on my left side in my left temple like throbbing um, and my jaw and my teeth were even aching and I was a bit worried about that but the Polaramine actually made it go away so I was really grateful for that. That's about it guys for my 37th week. Um, I tried to get this video a little bit shorter. I don't know how successful I was on that, 
but um, I don't know how many updates I have left either. I might have one, I might have two. I also bought a new camera today so I can take that to the hospital with me. That isn't as chunky as my Canon 60. I bought a Canon um, G7X Mark II, which I'll be taking to hospital when I have my cesarean and trying to vlog what I can. I'm not sure what I will upload, but I'm definitely excited to have a little camera that I can take with me now. So yeah, please um, subscribe to my channel if you like this video, guys. I make videos every week as you would know if you watch them and I'll show you my belly bump it could be the last one so yeah we'll see alrighty guys thanks so much for watching catch you next week